I do a lot of LED upgrades, so many that I don't bother filming them, but this one is special. So this is a 2007 Hyundai Sonata. Uh, you can tell these dark and dingy bulbs can't, it, it, they're not even bright enough to light up my garage. Like, that's how sad these lights are and I, for some reason, they put these on cars still. So we're gonna make this car's headlights go from 2007 to 2022, all with these LED bulbs. The Sonata requires H7 headlight bulbs, which it's just the uh, design of the bulb. That's all that pretty much means. Uh, got these sent from Auxedo. Great kit, comes with everything. Uh, this is a, this is definitely a premium product. I even present you the zip ties and O-rings if need be. Install instructions, which we don't need. And these, after opening up the box, I'm starting, I, I like these already. So, a little quick rundown on LED lights. So when you, when you open up a normal LED light, they'll have a stub up here. And what that, what that little, it's a probably quarter of an inch blocker on the front of this. Now, when you install these LEDs, they're supposed to be horizontally. So what that means is the uh, actual light should be at the three, three o'clock and nine o'clock position. So like this, and it actually shines out bright. Well, in the middle of that bulb, there is a dark spot. These are pretty cool as of right now, as long as they work great, they don't have that. So this should actually allow more light to go forward. Also, not only side to side, which we'll see what happens and it'll probably make more sense later. So we're gonna go for a quick test drive with these original bulbs. Hopefully you can see everything as clear as what I can. Now, as you can tell, you can't really see anything ahead of you. Uh, Again, I, I think these headlights are incredibly dangerous. First thing I do when I buy a vehicle, if the vehicle automatically doesn't have them, is upgrade to an LED set. Which, there you go. It's, it's not even lighting up the road in front of us, really. And that's the brights, or the high beams, low beams. High beams, low beams. You can't really see anything. So we're gonna get this back to the garage and we're gonna do some upgrading. So starting off over here on the passenger side, uh, we're gonna remove these two 10 millimeter bolts. Now you need to get to that bolt right there, which is kind of hard to get to. So you're gonna swing up and around and uh, make sure your engine's cool. Do not want to shove your hand in you and touch anything you don't don't know that's not hot, but we're gonna reach it like this. And this is not gonna be easy. And now with that bolt out, we can go ahead and disconnect the power. And pull this one forward. Now disconnect the power, it's just a simple push tab. And while we have it, let's go ahead and get rid of this 10 millimeter. Hopefully I'll free things up a little bit more. Okay. There we go. I just had to shimmy it out. Now. Your low beam is gonna be this middle compartment. Disconnect that. All right, now to get this out, you're gonna to wanna to push this tab in and move it out to my left.
and that's your standard bulb right there. Now there's nothing wrong with that bulb. It's just, it's just how it was made. See, it's gonna be very nice. Yeah, they match. Essentially just gonna add it in, add the bulb in the same exact way. All right, so we have this bulb out. Now what we're going to do is we're going to line that tab up with, with these notches right here and put this in. But before we do that, uh, since it's going to be a very tight fit in there, we're going to want to connect, connect the bulb. And then we're going to feed this down into all this empty space while we can. Because like I said, it's, with these LEDs, it's, it's a pretty tight fit. Curve that around like so. And keep in mind, none of this can be seen from the front, so it's as long as you get it out or get everything in there. Okay. Now. All right, so we're gonna move this in here. Now, you see this other prong right here? What we're gonna do is we're gonna uh, fit, pull the bulb in and out so that we can get it up and around so it's fully secure on the base. Seat the LED properly and then do the exact opposite. And we'll tuck that in the rest of the way. Make sure your bulb is seated nicely. And we'll get the cap put back on. So, uh, before we go any further, what I like to do is, just be so you don't put in all that effort and realize it doesn't work, uh, we're going to go ahead and just reconnect the bolt, reconnect it, and turn on the headlights. So it's obviously working correctly, and you can immediately tell the difference between the two, the two bulbs. Even with the, we're going to go ahead and clean these up too, but the dinginess, you can go ahead and see on the left, horrible, horrible orange light, and on the right is the super bright, high quality LEDs from Auxito. Let's get this car put back together. There we go. Beautiful. Let's get that pain in the butt bolt right there lined back up. And get something, hopefully this will work. Ah. The other way works great. It's just, it's very time consuming because it's like this the entire time. So I'm gonna try this, probably just to speed it up. Not that you can see any of that, but that'll do for now, just for a second. Get the top two put in, we'll tighten those up. So for the driver's side, we'll do the same thing. There's your three 10 millimeter uh, top bolts. And as you're upside down, uh, there's the bolt right there. A little easier to get to on this side. Disconnect the power. And then we're gonna, we're gonna wiggle this out. Same thing, choose your middle one. Pull out the power. Mm -hmm. 
Get you a needle nose if you need it. Huh, I don't like that. All right, so. There we go. Someone kind of might have over torqued this and bent the metal. So that's all you gotta do is just give it a couple twists and turns so we can get rid of this bulb. Same as before, plug it in and then we'll hide it. Shove that down in there like so. good enough so we'll same as the other side we'll have to jiggle the bulb in and out to fit that other there we go perfect we'll reseat it and then again sometimes when your fingers can't fit in there it's easier just to take some pair of needle nose and put it down now we are going to come back and retighten this back down perfect do not over tighten that. It's not necessary. Put that back on. Same as before. Plug back in the power and getting a good practice of trying it. Whoo, beautiful. All right, so now that we're all done, you see how much brighter they are now. Let's take it for a test drive. Oh wow, so right off the bat, we have a, a complete night and day difference. I'm driving around the same block and it's shining out much, much further. I hope it's capturing this on video perfectly, but if not, take my word for it, they, it is 100% brighter. Uh, it'll be even brighter once we get those lenses clean too, but just adding these high-powered LEDs and Yeah uh, we, When you turn on the brights, you can't even tell the difference these these headlights are so bright. It's great Like I said, that's how everyone should be and what's great about this product is it works Just talks really well to your car's computer. So we're not actually worried about uh, Sometimes when you get these lights and they start to flicker or uh, kind of like flash a couple times and then shut off and turn back on. It's just your car's computer's shooting out enough voltage for your headlights and all of a sudden you drop it with these LEDs and it doesn't like that. But yeah, this is great. Turning signals will work great. High beams and low beams work. So these lights work first time without needing any kind of um, extra converter box Jesus all right so there you have it that's the install process and I oh, 10 out of 10 these these lights are great actually uh, worked I mean these aren't like I said this is definitely a premium product they do cost a little bit more but the quality is, is, is way better than the ones you can get on Amazon. Trust me, I use the ones on Amazon a lot. And there's, there's a bunch of different brands that I use, but uh, not needing a converter box is great. The, the wide viewing area and the straightforward view area is incredible on that car. So if you wanna pick up a set of these lights, go down into the description. I have a, a link to the website and my referral code. So if you can be so kind to drop in the Anything Auto Repairs uh, promo code, I'd much appreciate it. So until next time.